Hey everybody, Tron Crusher here, aka the Persian guy with a little thick accent that I'd like to talk about Skip from Tarkov. Welcome to the channel. Today, we have another gun build video for you. This time in Big Boy Caliber 308 or 7.62x51. This build that I have today for you, it's not a budget build, nor it's a meta build. It's something between that you don't need to use that much money. Also, you are getting really good stats such as recoil and ergonomics on it. So without further ado, let's go and take a look at it. As you may saw it on the thumbnail, we are going to talk about M1A and a really good build for this gun that I think it's the best build that you can have for 308 guns period. Why I think it, it, this is the best build, I'm not saying the meta build or I'm not saying the budget build. If you're gonna go budget, you can go RFB or Hunter, but they have really high recoil and they have lack of modification, so you cannot use any tactical um, uh, flashlight on it or laser. Or on the other side, we have SR25s, we have RSSs, we have um, SCAR H, MDRs, SA58. All those guns, they are you can buy a and build a meta build on those and they have better stats than this but they're gonna be super expensive 300k plus even the meta build on m1a gonna be 300k plus which i think doesn't worth when you go uh when you compare it to this build and uh, compare the price and stats all right let's see how we can build this gun there's a few different ways to do it and we're gonna go through them all and I show you my favorite uh, way to do it at the end. First thing, you can go just on flea market and buy your M1A. You can buy it anywhere from 45 to 55k on flea market and then just change all the parts on it. Or, because we are using the SAS build you can go to your traders mechanic and if you go to the guns we can see mechanic has both of the m1 a sas builds one for trade you need 18 uh wilston cigarettes and you can do it one per reset and these cigarettes are around like four to six k on the other hand you can also buy this gun right away on the SAS build for 122,000 rubles from him. But the way I like to do it, because we need to change everything on the gun, we're just gonna go and buy a M1A lower receiver from Mechanic, and you can buy it from Mechanic level 3, I believe, yes, right here for 33,000. So we're gonna buy one right here. All right, now we bought the lower receiver for the gun. We're gonna go ahead and build it up from that. First thing first you need is to buy 22 inch uh, M1A barrel from mechanic level three for 27,000 rubles. On top of that, we're gonna put our um, blast mitigation device thread adapter. You can buy it from Peacekeeper level three for $26. And then blast mitigation device itself for $75 from Peacekeeper level 3 and uh, Atlantic Dragon Muzzle Brake from Peacekeeper level 4 $474 then we are going to add our SAS uh, chassis uh, which you can buy it from flea market around 35 to 40,000 rubles all day long after that we're gonna add our F1 skeletonized pistol grip from Skier level 3 for 9,000 uh, rubles and then bass kick stock from skier level 1 for 6,000 you're gonna add our RVG foregrip for uh, $55 from peacekeeper level 3 we're gonna add a tactical device it's up to you I go with X400 usually for $71 from peacekeeper level 2 
then I'm going to add my favorite site which is Delta Point base for $13 from Peacekeeper and Delta Point itself from Peacekeeper again uh, $474 for the site. It's up to you whichever site you want to put on it. You're gonna see here buy and we're gonna take off the Springfield itself and we see 462,000 rubles you're gonna get this gone plus 33,000 that you get it from a uh, mechanic the lower receiver so that brings it up to 195,000 rubles just shy of 200,000 rubles for this gun with 59 vertical recoil 106 horizontal recoil and 52 ergonomics this is a really good build that you're gonna have a lot of fun with it there's a couple other things i like to touch on first thing is the magazine you have three different options uh and we're gonna go here and take a look at them so you have the 30 rounder you have 50 rounder and you have 20 rounder 20 rounder is not that much especially if you get to fight with like two or three men 50 rounder is too much i uh, believe and it has negative 17 recoil so it can destroy your recoil basically on the gun i think uh the middle ground good is the 30 rounder with only a negative six ergo and has because the gun is semi-automatic you're not going through the mag as fast and has enough ammo to get through two to three people for sure lastly i like to talk about ammo for 308 caliber especially this gun so we're gonna go through peacekeeper you have few different options the minimum i think for any 308 gun is m80 for two dollars a round from peacekeeper level 2 you can buy 150 per reset this ammo has 41 pin and 80 damage doesn't have any problem for class 3 and class 4 armor gonna have 90 percent chance to go through on the first shot and the class 5 uh struggles 13 percent chance on the first shot but second and third shot it gonna have more than 90% chance to go through on the other hand you have m62s you can buy it from peacekeeper level 3 eight dollars around and 120 per reset this one has 44 pen and 79 damage it is tracer it, it's a green tracer and uh, this one again gonna go through class 3 and class 4 on the first shot more than 90% chance uh, but for the class 5 has 30% chance to go through on a first shot and um, second and third shot more than 90% chance depends on the armor but also for only three more pen I don't think it really worth it four times the money because uh, M80 has 41 pen for two dollars round and m62 has 44 pen for eight dollars round that's four times uh, the price and only three more pen and if you have some m61s laying around or 993s go ahead but those are really hard to come by so the main thing you're gonna see people using on 308s is m80 or m62s and at the end i want to take this gun to the shooting range and show you the recoil and why i think it's really good on the first closer target i'm not gonna compensate at all and and we're gonna reload now this is me compensating for it See, it doesn't go that much high and that's being a semi-automatic it helps really well with um, recoil control and on the far target 
again not compensating it's up there and one more time I'm controlling you can see they are all on the target all right Thanks for watching till end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, let me know down in comment what you think about this build, if it's good or if it's not, if you think it's expensive or worth it. Also, let me know if you have any other gun builds for 308 that you think it's better than this one or I should take a look at it. And at the end, thanks for watching again and I see you on the next one.